Greetings data engineers and welcome back to the deep dive video on how you can ingest real time data from Postgres using Debesium, Kafka, Schema Registry and Delta Streamer operating in a continuous mode. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with a complete hands on video. So, all right. Before we begin, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you are aware about the playlist. This is an entire playlist on Delta Streamer. In the first video, we covered how to ingest data from Parquet. Second video, we covered about CSV source. Third video, we covered multi-table Delta Streamer. Fourth video, we covered JDBC based incremental puller. And then the fifth video, we uh, basically covered about uh, how to ingest data from a Kafka source. And now we're gonna basically dive deep into the complete project. So meaning we're gonna ingest some data into Postgres and anytime uh, any changes happens, uh, you know, through DBCM, we're gonna bring that to a Kafka topic. We can uh, register the schema using schema registry and the Delta streamer will operate in a continuous mode. All right, enough of talking, let's get straight into action. So the first step of the project is we need Kafka, Zookeeper, Schema Registry and Postgres. And for this, we can utilize a Docker. So I'm going to spin that up uh, using the Docker. Okay. Uh, in the project E7, folder E7, there, there is a file called Docker Compose. Excuse me. There is a file called Docker Compose.yml. Again, this will spin up all the infrastructure for you, right? So all you want to do is come here and say Docker Compose up hyphen hyphen build. Um, and if you want to, if you want this containers to run in the background, just add minus D. Okay. But for now, I'm just going to do Docker compose up hyphen hyphen build. And now this could take um, about two to three minutes to uh, spin those containers up. But once those containers are ready, uh, which means they are in the running state, we're going to see the next particular step. So right now, if I go to my Docker desktop, go to containers, I do not see anything because still it's pulling these images. And once it is complete, let me resume the video. So it looks like my containers are now in the running state. Uh, you could also verify that by going into the containers and you will see that these are now in the running state. Okay. So step one uh, was pretty straightforward. We just want the containers to be running. Now the way you can verify is uh, if you have PG admin, great. But if you don't have, again, not a problem. Uh, inside a PG admin, uh, there is going to be a database called Postgres and, and by default, a table will be created called sales in a schema called public. So if you run this, you should see some sample data set over here. Okay. So if you go to Postgres and if you probably uh, go to schemas and under public and under tables over here, this is called sales, right? So again, the goal is we are given a table and we want to now ingest data uh, into hoodie transactional data like using Delta Streamer and DBCM. So the first step is, okay, make sure the stack is up and running, which is uh, probably the case. Now, also what you want to do is you would head over to localhost colon 3040 and you will see a beautiful UI which will make the whole learning process much more easier. So again, here you can see all the services that are running and on their corresponding ports. Okay. So now that we have the stack up and running, now the first step, uh, the second step is now, okay, let's create a DBCM connector so we can basically ingest CDC events. So let's take a look at the process. Sharing my screen again. So over here, uh, you will see uh, Kafka Connect UI. You want to click on enter over here and then you will see this UI over here. Now click on new and now search for Postgres connector. And now here we need to paste some settings. So those settings are also given to you um, in a file called Postgres connector. So let me copy and then explain you what this uh, is doing. So hopefully now the font size is visible, right? So name Postgres connector, connector class. We are using the Postgres connector. Okay. Um, data which is going to be Postgres, right? We provide in the host, the username, the password. Uh, which particular table that we want to listen to. We're going to ingest data from public.sales and then we're declaring some basic default settings. Okay. So what you want to do is come here and then click on create. Now, as you can see, the connector is now successfully created and now you can see the connector uh, is in the running state over here. Okay. So hopefully made sense. So the first step is make sure you spin up the entire stack. The second component is going to be uh, create uh, the Postgres DBCM connector. Okay, so now you have a connector, right? Now you should be able to see uh, a topic uh, in Kafka. So let me show you the process. So if you again go to localhost 3040 
and now if you head over to the topic and now if you search for the word sales here you can see postgres is the database name dot table name oh, sorry database name dot schema name dot table name so if i click here and this will take a couple of seconds to load and if you click on table this should show you the data okay so again this is the data that i have a, in my postgres hopefully that makes sense now if you make any changes over here so if i do electronics hash hash and if i click on save right now what you would see if you refresh this probably so if i quickly refresh this i should see uh, that new uh, updates coming into the kafka topic okay so if i click here again on this particular topic and again these are avro messages okay so if i come here come to the table part and let's see if we see that here you can see electronic hash hash right we made that change and we are able to see that change coming in okay so step one we spin up the resources step two we create the postgres tpcm connector uh, step three we saw the data coming into a kafka topic uh, again the schema registry is also running on uh, ad81 so let me show you that particular process and then we'll take a look at the delta streamer so 8040 so here write schema registry so now over here search with the word sales and again this is the particular schema right so hopefully up to this particular point makes sense right so we have a source which is postgres or it could be anything then we made a connector and now we are able to receive all the messages into the kafka topic and now we can learn okay now i have this working now let me see how i can use my hoodie delta streamer to ingest data in a continuous mode from this particular kafka topic so now let me show you that particular process all right so the delta streamer part right <coughs> excuse me so again uh, now i'll go over all of these uh, you know settings uh, soon make sure in the folder directory you have that jar file if you do not have that particular jar file you can download from this particular maven repository again the links will be there okay so now let's review the spark submit job right the delta streamer job this is the most important part okay so let me probably can make it a little tinier all right so line one again spark submit so i, I don't think i need to explain anything line two we are using org dot apache dot hoodie dot utilities dot delta streamer uh, dot hoodie delta streamer uh, again in the newer version it's called hoodie streamer so um, uh, feel free to uh, replace this class by hoodie streamer if needed okay then package org.apache.hoodie i'm using spark 3.4 uh, and hoodie 0 0.14.0 so i'm basically providing the package on line 3 so hopefully makes sense then spark configuration i'm pro providing that through a property file so if i come to over here again very 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 straightforward and standard settings again no nothing uh, difficult over here okay so again simple you know spark serializer and etc etc i'm giving very basic settings over here since i'm running locally so master is going to be local i'm giving 1 gb of ram uh, this is the path where my jar file is located i'm using hoodie utilities slim bundle dot jar okay table type is going to be copy on write uh, again for most of the streaming use cases uh, is usually preferred that you use uh, merge on read but again for the demo i'm just keeping it simple okay uh, so table type is going to be copy on write uh, target base path this is where i want my hoodie transactional data lake to be created so the hoodie data lake will be created inside the folder e7 okay target table is going to be order so this is the name of the table that you want to give now source ordering field so this is used going to be used for d2 purposes and i'm using a column called updated ad again in my postgres we have a column called updated ad which is just a timestamp now this is important right source class org.apache.hoodie.utilities.sources.dbcm.postgres.dbcm source so this is the class that we gotta use because we're using postgres dbcm right as a source so you gotta use this particular class payload class org.apache.hoodie.common.models.dbcm and again we're gonna use postgres dbcm avro payload again we're gonna use this class since our data is in avro format okay so i want my delta streamer to be running in an absurd mode i want a delta streamer to be running in a continuous mode source limit how much data it should read from the source uh, minimum sync interval meaning after how many seconds delta delta streamer should sync sync right uh, for the new data 
दिस इज कैन बी योर काफ का बूट स्ट्रॉप यू आर एल इट्स रनिंग ऑन लोकल होस्ट सेवन जीरो नाइन टू सो आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर ओवर हियर ना अगेन स्कीमा रजिस्ट्री इज कैन बी ऑन लोकल होस्ट एडी एडी वन सो आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग द यू आर एल राइट बिकॉज इमेजिन राइट डेल्टा स्ट्रीमर हैज टू फेच द स्कीमा राइट फॉर दैट सो वी कैन प्रोवाइड दैट सो ना ओवर हियर यू विल सी दिस पर्टिकुलर एंड पॉइंट सो इफ आई गो हियर एक्सक्यूज मी So if I copy this, I'll just quickly, quickly show you, right? So if I open up my Chrome, you will see that schema, right? So Delta Streamer will be able to fetch that particular schema, right? So the way we do that is we're gonna provide a setting called hoodie dot Delta Streamer uh, dot schema provider dot registry URL and the path where Delta Delta Streamer can fetch the particular schema. Okay, hopefully makes sense, everybody. Okay. Then the next settings that we're gonna use is hoodie delta streamer dot source dot kafka dot value dot deserializer class. Again, now it has to deserialize these messages, right? So we are gonna use uh, Kafka Avro deserializer. So this will essentially help delta streamer to deserialize those Avro messages. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Now. Which topic do you want to listen to? So we're gonna provide the topic name, the Kafka topic name, which is gonna be Postgres dot public dot sales, right? And we saw that through the console as well. So, oops, let me go over here. Was it this one or this one? I guess here. So if I quickly come here, go to topics. We saw this, right? Hopefully, it made sense. Just showing you the steps again, just to make sure that you guys. uh are getting it right so yeah that that's the particular topic okay okay so auto offset reset set to earliest you can also set this to latest right uh, depending upon your use case now the record key the primary key uh, for this is going to be sales id i want to partition my hoodie data lake by state and there is a column called destination state uh i'm using simple key generator over here okay and then my precom key is going to be updated at so hopefully made sense right so first step we spin up the container second step we create a postgres uh, postgres uh, dbcm connector third step we saw the schema registry and we saw that the data was coming into the kafka topic and the fourth step is okay now use delta streamer to run into the continuous mode and ingest data so now let's 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 rock and roll right so what we going to do is copy all of these okay I have my terminal. I am in that directory. Okay. Now I'm gonna paste this. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the font size is visible now. But again, in case if you are not able to see this uh, clearly, hopefully now this is visible, right? So let me uh, make this small. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is uh, before I submit, I do not have a hoodie data lake in the folder E7 as you can see. So let me just do quickly show in Finder. Again, no, no hoodie data lake, right? Uh, oops, I'm in E5. Hold on one sec. Need to go to E7 because it's exercise number seven. So show in Finder, E7. Again, no hoodie data lake. Okay. Now, bang. Let's run this. So now the Delta streamer is running in a continuous mode. So after every 20 second, it's gonna perform a sync. It's gonna go to Kafka topic and hey, do you have any more message? Hey, do you have any more messages? and as soon as he gets more messages it's going to ingest that into real time into hoodie uh, transaction data lake right so now uh, let me see so yeah looks like it is working fine as you can see so la again now uh, it's going to wait for new messages all uh, right so now let's go to the folder again you can see hoodie db and we see um, uh, these folders and inside that we see our parquet files or the data, the data files right now you can try this out so now go ahead and you know try to make some changes over here <coughs> excuse me so let's do star star save and the moment i click here right dbcm will uh, identify this change she will come into kafka topic delta stream or real time get the data ingest into the hoodie transactional data like okay save as you can see right we got the new message delta stream is now Uh, reading that message and is basically going to ingest that into hoodie transactional data lake 
So what you have seen is a complete stack, right? Uh, this stack is very, very widely adopted in companies. Uh, you know, they have a typically they have a Debesium. Uh, you know, they have Kafka. They have all these topics for different tables, and usually they operate the Delta Streamer. Uh, sorry, Hoodie. They use Hoodie multi-table Delta Streamer, and they are ingesting data from all these Kafka topic into straight into Hoodie transactional data lake. And their Delta Streamers are usually running in a continuous mode, meaning they are ingesting new data as they arrive. So this is very, very close to a real, real world project. Uh, the entire project, you can do it locally on your computer. Uh, all you need is Docker, Spark 3.4 and Hadoop uh, installed on your computer. If you have that installed, you can perform all these labs on your computer. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any other, any other questions, uh, do let me know your question in the comment section below. Complete source code, complete exercise file, everything could be found in the GitHub section. So please make sure to go and check that out. If you have any further question, do let me know. And if you think I've done a fantastic job, make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video with your coworkers and colleague. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. By the way, I'm also working on a complete guide on LinkedIn. So all the steps will be also there on the blog section as well. All right, see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.